Hi everyone. So in this video, we will build something. In the previous set of videos, we cover the reject toolings. We uh, we were talking about Webpack config, Babel, and we created simple basic components. In this video, we will try to see. We will try to create something uh, of our own. Okay. So in the previous video, we were just creating or building something like this. Let's clean this up. Okay, so this is our state which is initially empty. Our render is empty. Okay, we don't have a cart and product component. Let's clean this up. For now, we can just render something like h1 hello. So we should be able to run it. Okay. Now, what we will do is we are going to render set of names in the UL LI pair. So we will be passing some data, some names are there which is an array in the object we will have a name okay profile js developer similarly we just have is all different data we are getting and name is unique okay this data now what we are doing is we are passing from here which is names and I'm passing the name array, right? Sorry, this is names and name uh, names I'm passing. Got it. So how can I access this names in my component? So these attributes, this is nothing but a props. And how can I access it using this dot props dot names? Okay. If we just do is console dot log names, this dot props dot names, you will get the names array. So this is an object. But how can I this is an array object how can i display that on the ui okay this is challenging no so in the we have to just loop on to it and we just need to show what we need to show on the ui so here i can do const names and i will loop on to this this dot props dot names this is an array so i can run a map on it this is arrow function and what i'm going to return is li and i will just print each and every name and i will put i have another property like i dot name which is unique so what i'm doing here is just try to understand it this is names is an array which has two property name and profile i already know that name is unique so i have to provide some key to each and every child component so what i did is key equal to i dot name I will show you why why we are doing it because react will be iterating onto this names array and will be rendering these n number of children's based on the length of this names array to uniquely identify each and every child react requires unique key provided to every child component that helps in the reconciliation process if something changes and which to identify which component has changed and all you need to have a unique key and here i'm passing i dot name uh, and i dot profile i'm printing both the values right and once you are done you can just wrap it around ul tag and i can just say okay i got all the names just print them like this and finally i'm rendering this component on the hello world and this is my component returning right so here I'm, there is no use case of state for now. I'm getting everything from the props. I'm iterating on it and I'm getting the list. You can see this is the output I'm getting and how I'm getting is I'm just iterating onto the props, looping onto it, returning these allies and putting that in the dual tag. Okay, what else you can return? I mean, you can just do anything here. Just you need to take care that you are wrapping around everything inside this fragment that we talk about. And I will use it because I don't want it to create unnecessary div tag. Now I can write input type text field. Right. So what if I wanted to print something or I wanted to put put new name whenever I'm typing something or there is a submit button, right? input type submit or input type so there is this is a simple button i have 
this is a little bit advanced I'm talking we haven't talked about all these things till today add new name okay so in react components we are writing HTML like syntax right so we can also write these JavaScript events on click on change on key up on key down similarly like you can see on change event is available what this on change event is doing I, if I wanted to know what user is typing in this text field so I can trigger this on change event this dot handle change right and when you clicking on to this button I wanted to trigger something like add a new name Uh, this method I wanted to trigger that's it right so this data is in the props so we have to make few changes in this data first of all we have to make this data available in the state so that because state is only something which can be changed right now I'm talking a little advanced here we haven't covered state and props but I hope now you understood how the props we are passing we are passing names we got the name so we are able to access the names here now in the further next videos let's talk in the next video itself so we are writing these on change on key up on key down all these kind of events are supported in the html so the react is kind of a vanilla javascript you will see we are not writing anything which is different we are writing on change on key up events writing these handle change methods inside the class and this is a esx class so we will writing the method something like this right there is add new name something like this we just need to take care that these DOM events don't have access to this object so we have to just use arrow function and or we have to explicitly bind these methods to this object we will see that later but now the objective of this particular video is to show you how we are can I create a props and how we can write all these methods right here I have written let me just save it So fail to compile now you see why we are failing so this is a react dot fragment okay let me just see here I can type react dot fragment compile successfully and now you can see the text will write now I'm not adding it so when you click on the add new name there is nothing is happening but we will add the controls so what they, that will do is that will be able to change this data but for that we have to convert this props to a state so before understanding or before going there we need to understand what is state what is props what can be changed what cannot be changed if you wanted to show something on the UI which is changing where do you where should you keep the data obviously the state so we'll understand what is state what is props how it works with the react component 